gang, it happens to be Tuesday, September 20th, and this is episode 35 for 2022. Welcome to the Beauville in Newtown, I'm Ray. Um, tonight's going to be a little different. I had talked about doing this before and um, decided that, you know what, we're going to do this tonight. What am I talking about? Well, we're going to go through the locomotive roster. And most, uh, first off, the active uh, trains or the active locomotives. And I'm actually just going to swing around here for a minute and hopefully not cause too much hate and discontentment by moving things here a little bit. All right, so we're down here at the Richmond Yard. And we're going to start off with um, the freight locomotives. Um, and as you know, I have things somewhat split up for local freight, through freight, and uh, obviously the passenger trains. So let's get started. And we'll go ahead and we'll start off over here. Um, this is an AHM. Uh, BL2 painted up for the Florida East Coast. Now I get it. Um, the AHM BL2s don't look anything like the <laughs> lifelike Proto 2000 BL2s, but it's okay. I run what I run. Um, after that, we've got the RFMP over here. Uh, this happens to be a GP40. Um, oops. <laughs> Not on camera. Uh, this is the Richmond, Fredericksburg, and Potomac, um, number 145. And behind him, and by the way, these cards, those are those locomotive cards that I've talked about that I use for operation. So this here is a uh, Southern SD40, I'm sorry, SD24. Um, this is this is one of the, um, I, I forgot, that that uh, F, uh, Richmond, Fredericksburg, and Potomac is a Bachman unit. This is an IHC. Um, it, when I got it, it was very light. I added weight to it, which has made its running properties a heck of a lot better. Um, the next locomotive, which is a bit of an oddity, um, is a Bachman uh, BQ-23-7. And this here is one of those locomotives that has a face only a mother could love, I guess. Um, very odd locomotive. This was a, uh, I, I guess for lack of a better term, a transition locomotive um, that they started building as uh, cabooses were being phased out. Um, I'm going to have to stop the camera here, I think, for a second so I can actually swing over to the other side so I can get to the, to the rest of these because otherwise it's not going to be easy for me to see the viewfinder and be able to talk about what I'm talking about. So... Give me a second and we'll be right back. Okay, so <laughs> now that I've moved the camera, it's going to make things a little bit better. Uh, the next locomotive, and these here, I should have mentioned the uh, locomotives over there, those are all for the local freights. They're mainly switcher locomotives or uh, locals. Um, this here is a F, uh, F7. Uh, this is a Bachman unit as well. Uh, painted up for the chassis system. And behind that is a, I believe this is a lifelike, nope, I'm sorry. This is a, <laughs> this is an AHM. Uh, this is an SD40-2. Gosh darn it, the light on here is just a little too bright. Let's see if we can fix that. Eh, maybe. Okay, so that's an SD40-2. One of two SD40s that I have, and I actually use those for uh, through freights. Uh, the next is an AHM. I think this was a custom painted uh, locomotive. This one here is an F7 also. Actually, it's an FP7. The way that you can tell is uh, the steam generator on the back here. Um, but this here was a, I believe it was a custom painted job. This is an AHM unit. Uh, another AHM unit and one of a one of two PAs that I actually have running on the layout. This one here is for the nickel plate. Um, always like the nickel plates paint scheme on the uh, on the PAs. Um, that was that was a, a 
<laughs> that was a buy from Mr. Robert Sacco, if anybody follows him. And we were talking about the SD40-2s. And here's another one. This one here happens to be an AHM one. I'm sorry, Atherin. Jeez, a whiz. Uh, anyway, so that's the through freight locomotives. Uh, they're in Richmond Yard at the moment. Obviously, as things would shift, they would either end up, they would end up in Harrisburg and uh, so on and so forth. Let's go down here to the bottom. And this here is a Bachman Seaboard FTA. Um, these here are very unique locomotives. Um, the FTs were uh, the beginnings of the F of the F units. Um, the next is a lifelike uh, FP45. Uh, main, these are all passenger locomotives, by the way. That one there happens to be painted up for the Baltimore and Ohio. And actually what I'm going to do, instead of trying to swing behind the camera right away, uh, down here we have the RDC pair. This is a, a Western Pacific with a Baltimore and Ohio trailer. I know some people are going to be like, oh, you're not supposed to do that. This is a P1K uh, um, RDC, and there's nothing about not being able to pull a trailer. And then on our northbound through freight is a uh, Delaware and Hudson, as I go ahead and knock things off the track here. Uh, Delaware and Hudson RF-16. I love these sharp noses. This is a bold one. Another one of those very odd looking locomotives from the front. Get him back on the track. And then we'll swing the camera over to this side because one of my favorite locomotives <laughs> is sitting over here. And that happens to be Blackjack, the Pennsylvania GG1. Uh, one of three electrics running on the, on the layout at the moment, and we'll get to the other two at some point. Um, the other, the next locomotive, again, this here is a Wabash uh, E8. Uh, this here is, a, is also a lifelike. I think this is a P2K. And that's it for what's actually active uh, out of Richmond at the moment. Um, I do have a couple of locomotives that are sitting off to the side over here um, that are in reserve, I guess is a good way to put it. One of them happens to be the Beauville Newtown PA-1. Uh, that, was, that used to pull those Rivrossi passenger cars that I'm so desperately looking to change. Um, we've got a Southern S3, and then we've got a Rio Grande uh, FP7. Again, you can tell it's an FP, of course, if the light was, because of the fact that it's got the steam generator on the rear. And then we've got a Pennsylvania, and that's a Tyco unit, by the way, and the uh, Southern was a AHM. And then we have a Pennsylvania. This is also a Tyco uh, FP7. So those are the reserves. So in other words, what I mean by that is they, they run, but they're not assigned to anything at the moment. So I'm going to stop here for a minute, and we're going to go over to the Harrisburg side. Okay, so now we're on the Harrisburg side, and we're going to start with the locals first. Um, namely, uh, I've got this... Atlas uh, Cotto uh, S3, uh, painted up for the Louisville and Nashville. And then we have a Lifelike Proto 2000 uh, Western Maryland BL2. I love these locomotives. I'm sorry. I know people don't like the BL2s, but I happen to, I happen to like them. Um, somebody can help me out with this, I'm sure. I know these as U-boats. Um, I've got a Burlington, and this is an Atlas unit. Uh, I've got it listed as a U-33. I'm not sure if that's 100% correct. 
and I'm sure that if uh, Mr. Steve Childers from the uh, Retirement Railroad watches, I'm sure he can let me know if I'm right or wrong on that one. Um, we've got another U-boat. Um, I've got this one listed as a, uh, a U-30. This one here is painted up for the Rock Island. This happens to be an, a, uh, an Atherin unit. And then hiding in the back, we've got a GP-35 painted up for the Chessie system. And this happens to be an Atherin unit as well. All right, so moving on, let's swing over here just a little bit. There we go. All right, now we're getting into the through freight locomotives. And the first one that we're going to come to is a Redding AHMC liner. Again, I love these. <laughs> these, these old AHM locomotives just have their own... Oops. Yeah, that was smart. Have their own sound to them. They, they kind of growl, as I've mentioned. Um, in the back here, we have another FP7. This one here is painted up for the Pennsylvania. This here is another Atherin unit. I've got quite a few Atherin units, to be honest. Uh, we're going to go ahead and swing this way to start off with. Here's a Chessie System FP45. Now, you're going to be probably asking yourself, well, wait a minute, you had a Baltimore and Ohio one that is pulling passenger trains. How come this one here is pulling freight trains? Well, it's because I don't have Chessie System passenger cars. <laughs> <laughs> nor do I want them actually. Um, here we've got an, uh, an FP, uh, FP7 uh, AB unit. Uh, this one here is painted up for the Atlantic Coast. This here happens to be a Tyco pair. And then we have the New England, Berkshire, and Western. This here happens to be uh, from the Rensselaer uh, Polytechnic Institute up in, uh, I believe it's Massachusetts. Uh, I picked this up off of eBay years ago, uh, but this is an F7AB unit for them. Again, you can tell that it's a, a freight unit because there's, where the steam generator would be in the back, there's just a blanking plate. And then, last but not least for the freights, we have a Chessie System, I'm sorry, Chesapeake and Ohio F, uh, FP7, and again, there's that wonderful steam generator on the back, although, like I said, I'm using it for freight instead of the passenger. Um, down here on the next outbounds, let's see if it even, I even got there, I did, we have the uh, ML4000, the Rio Grande unit. Um, that I picked up at that train show not that long ago. Get him back on the track. And then we have a, another FP7. This one here is painted up for the New York Central. Now, as far as the passenger locomotives go that are sitting in Harrisburg Yard at the moment, and I get to get him back on the track here. There we go. Maybe. I could feel that he was. There we go. All right. So now the passenger locomotives that are in uh, Harrisburg. We have an FP7 painted up for the Pennsylvania. That's an Atherin unit. We have another Atherin unit. This one here is a Baltimore and Ohio FP7. We have another Atherin unit. This one here is painted up for the Southern. This is another FP7. And last but not least, we have the other Pennsylvania GG1. This one here is 4828. And that concludes what's actually in the yards. So I'm going to stop here for a minute, and I'm going to go back out to the main part of the layout, and we're going to finish the uh, locomotive roster. Okay, so down here in Beauville Yard, we've got the Atherin GP40, that's was a Santa Fe unit, that's now uh, patched, sort of, for the Beauville and Newtown, which it will eventually be painted. 
for the Beauville Newtown when I get to that point. Let's get him back on the track. All right, and then we've got a GP20. Uh, this is a Mantua unit. This is painted up for the Erie Lackawanna. And then we have another GP20. This one here is another Mantua. And this is painted up for the Bonhomme in Ohio. And one more locomotive. This one here actually runs the yard. And that would be the Canton SW, I believe this is an SW9-1200. If not, it's an SW7. I'm not really sure. Was never really good with the switcher locomotives. Um, so that takes care of this. Now, there is two locomotives that are under the under Beauville uh, at the moment. Um, that is the New Haven E33 and the Chessie System uh, FP7. Um, and unfortunately, this stand doesn't go low enough for me to actually show you what those two look like. So we'll have to wait until uh, they come out onto the layout. Now, one of the last locomotives that's actually on the layout that's being used is this great northern SW9-1200. Uh, uh, he runs uh, Weikert Industrial. This is a Proto 2000, I believe. It's either a P2 or a P1. I'm not 100% certain which one because I don't have the box out in front of me. Um, I know I've got it in the list. Um, I could probably find out. But that covers the locomotives that are on the layout. Now, let's go ahead and talk about some of the other stuff. And we'll be back to do that. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about some of the steam locomotives that I have. Um, that you have seen, I'm sure, multiple times, at least when I do steam train Sundays. Um, some of these you will, some of them you won't. Obviously, this here is Percy. That belongs to Thomas. That's actually one of my daughter's locomotives that we got for her years ago. Um, we've got a uh, Tyco 040. Uh, that belonged to my dad. And that's all die cast. That's a heavy little locomotive, let me tell you. Next to him is a Chesapeake and Ohio 462. Uh, that is another Mantua locomotive. Uh, next to him is a 080. This one here happens to be painted up for the Chattanooga. That is an AHM locomotive. Um, next to him, let's see if I can zoom in just a little bit here. And I realize it's black. They're they're black back here, but that's that is what it is. This here happens to be a 2102. This is an AHM locomotive painted up for the Baltimore and Ohio. Uh, behind him, this guy back here is another Mantua locomotive. This one here happens to be a 282. This one's also painted up for the Baltimore and Ohio. And behind that is well, one of the banes of my existence. Um, that is a 460. Um, Tyco unit that's painted up for the 1776, and the thing has never run right since the day I got it. And that's the second one that I've had. Um, the other one my brother has, which it belonged to him anyway. We're going to pan down here um, and talk about what's on the next shelf. Now, the steam engines, with the exception of the 1776, all run. <clears throat> this next set of locomotives, uh, well, some of them run, some of them don't. Um, case in point, we have a Southern Pacific, that's just a shell, that used to be an AHM, I think, that's being used for something else now. Um, <clears throat> this is an old Gilbert uh, HO -like locomotive that is obviously in need of some desperate repair. Um, all the side pieces are missing. This was one of those things that was in one of the boxes that was given to me a while back, and um, I won't run it anyway because of the open gears. These things have a t bad tendency of spewing uh, lubricant all over the place. Um, the next locomotive is a, this here happens to be a Ravel. This one's also in need of some repair. This is a New Haven. Uh, this is an FP, FP7. And those other ones were FP7s as well. 
I'm not going to touch the orange locomotive at the moment. That shouldn't be where it's sitting anyways. Let me move that over here. Um, we have another lifelike chassis system locomotive and another one of those ones that's got the open gearing. Like I said, I don't like running those because of the fact that they just spew stuff all over the place. Um, we have another F unit, another FP7. Um, this one here is for the Pennsylvania. I believe that this is a pen line. Um, like I said, some of these probably do run, but I don't, I don't run them. Uh, this one here, I have no idea who made this, but again, you can see all the open gearing in this and it's like, yeah, no, <laughs> nope. That's another new Haven. Um, this is another PA. This one here happens to be the same number as the one that's on the layout, which is the reason why it's sitting over here. Um, we've got, <laughs> I forgot about this guy and he's falling apart again. This is an old Atheron Hi-Fi drive. This one here happens to be painted up for the Sun FA. This belongs to a buddy of mine. I can't tell you how many times I've replaced the rubber bands in this thing. Um, to get it to run, it will run, and it doesn't run bad, but, yeah, replacing the, the rubber bands is just getting to be a pain. Uh, this here is a, <laughs> another BL2. This one here is a dummy unit. This is an AHM, and uh, because of the fact that it has the same road number as the one that's on the layout, it sits over here. And then we've got, um, this 1776 AHM locomotive. Uh, that's sits over here as well only because of the fact that I don't run it all the time um, I guess I'll go ahead and get into these next <laughs> I uh, I picked this up because of the fact that I like electric locomotives or lo lo uh, locomotives that run from overhead electric however when I got it I realized that whoever had it really botched it um, this is a lifelike unit um, it, and it is in desperate need of a new paint job and some repair. I think what somebody was trying to do is turn it into a maintenance of way locomotive. But, eh, like I said, they didn't do a very good job of it. Then we've got this guy. Um, this guy is a new old stock, brand new in the box. Uh, Bachman, as you can see, this is also, these here are, um, I forgot to tell you. Yeah, these are E60 CFs. Now, the funny thing with these locomotives is these were never actually produced. Um, I don't know where Bachman ever got the idea for them, but they never made them. Um, my grandfather years ago had gotten a hold of this guy, and I have no idea. This is a King locomotive, and unfortunately it's got way too much weight in the, uh, in the cab, and it does not run right. And this here we've talked about numerous times. This is uh, this is my dad's Ravel uh, Santa Fe locomotive. It's another FP7. Um, I don't run it because it's a rubber band drive as well. And I don't. The other reason why I don't run it is because it, of its age. I'm afraid to run it because I can't get parts for it. Um, I'm not going to dig into those two down there. What we have is we have on the right, that is the uh, Mantua 462 for uh, the Crescent Limited. And behind it is another Mantua 462, that is the President Washington for the Baltimore and Ohio. Again, you've seen those run on the layout a couple times. So I, I don't take them out very often and that's the reason why they're in the cases now. There is one locomotive that I'm missing. Well, not missing. This guy actually belongs back over here anyway. Um, this is a dock cider. This is an old Varney unit. Um, this was this here also belonged to my dad. So he actually belongs back on the shelf with Percy and the rest of the gang. Now, that basically pretty much covers everything that is out. Um, I do have uh, a bunch of locomotives that are back in the shelving for repair, uh, back in the workbench area, 
one of which is the Frankenstein locomotive that Sparky likes to talk about. Uh, that one of these days, and that's probably coming up here shortly, is going to be probably the subject of a of a vlog. But let me go ahead and shut this down for a second, and we'll be right back. Okay, so I'm not going to look at the camera for this, but I'm going to just tell you what we've got going on here. Um, I went through um, last night, or actually yesterday, and actually counted or redid all of the active locomotives. And on the, on the railroad right now, um, there are, and that's not right, what's, what's missing here? I was just sitting here looking at the electrics alone, and the electrics, the electrics aren't right. There should be three of them, and I see why. My formula didn't catch the fact that there was an extra, <laughs> an extra line. That's why. Good. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right. So, um. The locomotive roster overall, there are a total of 84 locomotives uh, for the Beauville and Newtown, of which 50% of them are actually on the layout right now. Um, that means that there's 39 diesels and three electrics uh, for a total of um, 30, uh, no, 42. Um, 42 active locomotives um, of those and then like I said of the stuff that I've got 17 are actually in repair right now five of them are designated for storage and those are mostly diesels um, I've got uh, 21 locomotives that are in for uh, that are basically on display now of that 21 15 of those are the steam locomotives in and of themselves and I know there wasn't 15 locomotives over, or steam locomotives over there. That's because there's still some in the back. And uh, two that I didn't show that you have seen before as well are um, uh, Emily, which is the uh, another one of the Thomas locomotives. That was another set to, uh, for Rachel, my daughter. And then the Orient Express uh, that's sitting over underneath the layout that I keep boxed up. Um, there's also the 1776, the 040 tea kettle locomotive um, that I didn't show because that's back with the rest of the 1776 stuff, which is in storage at the moment. Um, I don't keep those out. I keep those up high and I keep them packed away because of what they are. Um, people would call me nuts. Of course, I've been called nuts for other things, but I don't. I don't typically run those those trains because. I don't want to because of what they are. Um, so overall, um, there's 63 total diesel locomotives, six electrics, 15 steam. Um, and like I said, of the diesels, there's 14 of them that are in repair and five of them that are in storage and then five, another five that are actually designated for display. We talked about the rolling stock, and there is absolutely no way I'm going to sit here and go through every piece of rolling stock that I got, because that would take for freaking ever. Um, but according to the spreadsheet that I have up, right now there are 230 pieces of rolling stock, and that does not include the passenger cars. The passenger cars total another 52, uh, of which 10 of those are designated for... Um, display um, again that would be the or four cars for the Orient Express the four cars for the Maryland and Pennsylvania uh, the four cars for or the three cars for the uh, 1776 you get the picture um, so yeah I've got an awful lot and that's the reason why I built this thing to be perfectly honest I wanted to be able to run everything I had and I wanted to be able to utilize everything I had. Um, if I had to do it again, there would be some things that I would change. In fact, if I ever get to the expansions, those things will change. Um, the hidden yards, for instance, and so on and so forth. So 
yeah, there's there's things that I would like to do that I haven't done yet, and that will happen sometime in the future. Um, if I ever do some of this expansion that I'm talking about, I'm going to probably need some more rolling stock at some point. Um, I've actually got quite a bit actually in in repair as well. I've got 27 I've got 27 uh, units that actually are in repair, and 163 of the 230 are actually on the layout. So that kind of gives you an idea as to how this thing is and the reason why you see the trains that you see when I do the shorts, which I'm absolutely enjoying and I am going to fix things, Dwight. I know that the wording is getting in, in the way of the trains. Um, but anyway, that's gonna conclude this little walkthrough of the locomotives or the motive power that is on the Beauville and Newtown. And, you all know the deal. Wait for the highball. Green tracks ahead. Be safe. God bless. We'll see you.